Kevin Johnson, going against Jermel Barnes. At the Hard Rock Live at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in beautiful Hollywood, Florida. Happy to have you with us for what should be a terrific evening of boxing. Going to take a look at the rules for tonight's bouts as prescribed by the Florida State Boxing Commission. Ten point must system in effect. The three knockdown rule is in effect. No standing eight count. Fighter can't be saved by the belt in any round, including the final round of the bout. Only the ref can stop the fight and a mandatory eight count after all knockdowns. Set for our heavyweight battle. Kevin Johnson unbeaten string on the line. Here's Bob Alexander with the introduction. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We welcome you inside the Hard Rock Live Arena here at the fabulous Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Hollywood. Tonight, Seminole Warriors Boxing Promotions and Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing proudly presents Seasons Beatings, an evening of world-class professional boxing for your entertainment. Sponsored by the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Hollywood, the Seminole Tribe of Florida, and www.gofightlive.tv. This bout is scheduled for eight rounds of boxing in the heavyweight division. Your judges scoring this bout at ringside are Rocky Young, Jed O'Connor, and Peter Trimatera. Your referee in charge of the action is Telus Asaminos. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the blue, black, and silver trunks. He weighed in at 226 pounds. A veteran of 34 professional bouts. He comes from Rochester, New York. Here is Jermel, the Truth Barnes. His opponent fighting out of the red corner, wearing the blue trunks with the white trim. He weighed in at 236 pounds. He is undefeated in his professional career. 16 wins, no losses, with six wins by way of knockout. He comes from Atlanta, Georgia. Here is Kevin Kingpin Johnson. Eight rounds of boxing in the heavyweight division. A referee Telus Asaminos with the instruction. Kevin Johnson and Jermel Barnes come together in the center Gentlemen, of the ring. You have received instructions. instructions in the dressing rooms. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourselves at all times. Your belt's looking good. Anything below here is a low blow. Shake hands. God bless. And you get a look at the tail of the tape. You see the unbeaten record. Unblemished is Johnson. 6'3". He's got a height advantage. 10 pounds heavier. And also the younger of the two fighters. And set for round number one of a scheduled 10 rounder. Kevin Johnson in the dark blue trunks. Mel the Truth Barnes in the light blue trunks with the black trim. The Kingpin, nickname of Kevin Johnson. So how far he's been every bit of that. As he is yet to be defeated. Only six knockouts, though, maybe an indicator, Glenn, that he's not a huge puncher in this heavyweight division. Not this big though. Yeah, he, he's, he, he's, he's a finesse. Boxer. You see he dropped his hand, but he have a good angle. So he, he, even though he got his hand down, he's still defensively, he's still in a good position because he's showing the shoulder. And, and, and that's a good defensive move if you're not tall a guy, fighting a guy that's taller than you. And a Floyd Mayweather move. Good snapping jab there. Had some sting on it for Kevin Johnson. Early on dictating the pace here. The right hand behind the jab looks pretty awesome. He got, he got good skills. He got, you know, he got snappy, snappy punches, and, and that is what you like to see from a fighter. Punch out, punch out. The wrestle here in the early stages of round number one, scheduled ten rounder, and you see the evidence, the quickness of that jab, kind of a driver shot from the kingpin, Kevin Johnson. This is with a left hook, doesn't pay the price. As Jamal Barnes unable to capitalize. Well, he's laying in. He, he's, he's taking his time. He's being calm. He's now he, 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 he's, he's getting ready to throw a jab right hand. You could see him setting it up. You could you could look at him. He threw a left hook right there. Nice. He got good speed. Now all he have to do is sit, settle down and put some power behind that. Kevin Johnson appears confident in the first stanza here of our scheduled ten rounder. He has good reason. All he had to do is look at the resume of Jamel Barnes. He has lost eight of his last ten fights. 
and the other two were draws. So this is a guy that hasn't tasted victory, hasn't been in the winner's circle for a long time. In tough tonight. Good left hook to the body. Hammer is home to point here that Kevin Johnson is the superior fighter in the opening moments of this bout. Good pace to this first round for Kevin Johnson. Barnes tries to make a statement. As Johnson backed up against the ropes inside 30 seconds to go to round number one. Don't be on the head, please. Don't be on the head. Let's go. Box. Referee separates the two fighters, puts him back in the center of the ring. Good opening statement here, though, for Kevin Johnson. And you see the quickness and the power behind his shots. Good combination. One, two. Ten seconds to go. Round number one. Impressive frame here to open up for Johnson. Hey, come bunch. Come bunch behind the head now. Let's go. We follow Kevin Johnson back to his corner, and uh, he distinguished your name very well in that first round, Glenn. Well, he's using a weapon that I like very well, which is the jab. You know, that's the range finder. It set everything else up. But Kevin's do a little slapping punches at the end there. You know, it looked fast and, 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 and flashy, but they're not really effective. Here's very calm and collected in his corner as he gets some instruction. Coming out for round number two. Here you're going to see Johnson using the jab. And he's, he's setting, he's using the jab. Boom, right, good right hand behind it. And he just go back and do the same thing in another sequence. And he's doing it over and over. He's throwing his jab, the best, the best weapon in boxing. Round two for... A scheduled 10 rounder in the heavyweight division, Kevin Johnson in the dark blue trunks with the white stripe. Jermel Barnes, a record of 18, 14 and 2 coming into this one, but somewhat quizzical as he's been on the downslide, as we mentioned in his last 10 fights, hasn't had a victory. He's wearing the uh, lighter blue trunks with the black trim. A series of stinging jabs there in round number one dictated the pace for Kevin Johnson. And he also showed us some flurries in combination. A very impressive opening to this scheduled 10 round fight. Well, Kevin came out a little bit serious in this round. He kind of put the flash to rest, going to step up in, in, in the pocket using his defense, trying to lower the, the, the lower the opponent closer to him so he can throw a combination. But his opponent didn't fall for it. So he go back to the outside and using his jab right hand again. Thudding jab now starting to score and make its mark on Jermel Barnes' face. It's almost target practice here as he's peppering Barnes in round number two with that jab, almost using it exclusively. Big right hand to the body, left hook again to the top, and I think there's a cut after that punch. Barnes appears to be measured by Kevin Johnson. Seems to no be posting, waiting no to throw that right hand, and when he does unload, it's been effective. For a guy that doesn't have a reputation as a big puncher, Throwing some howitzer shots here in round number two. Jermel Barnes against the ropes, offering nothing back in terms of resistance. And you can see some of the starts taken out of the legs of Barnes already in this second round as we're approaching the two-minute mark of round number two. Well, Barnes, his, his offense, you know, he'd have nothing, nothing to, 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 to make Johnson have any fear. He's, he have nothing. He's, his offense is absolutely no threat. And, and 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 that's a comfort zone for Johnson. And Johnson just laying on the ropes right now, talking to people on the side of the, on the, side of the ring, not have no worries, I have no, not being in any danger whatsoever. He's posing for pictures almost in Ali-like fashion. Talking to some people around the ring as if to say, okay, don't worry. You're going to see something happen here quickly. Barnes offering very little resistance, trying to come forward now, but not much steam on those punches. The stuff he's tasting, though, has a lot of juice on it. A good combination here. As Kevin Johnson opens up. Barnes in a bit of trouble. Johnson dancing. Johnson throwing bombs. Showing some footwork. Ten seconds to go, round number two, and it's all Kevin Johnson here at the Hard Rock. Time! Time! 
Johnson appeared poised to make a statement there uh, from about the midway point of round number two after he finished posing for the photographers, Glenn, and he certainly came on and impressed us. Well, he, he, he's showing some flashy punches and uh, fancy footwork, but you have a guy that's not threatening in front of you, and, and you should make a statement. You know, this is heavyweight boxing. You need to step up and go ahead and close the show. Your favorite weapon, the jab, in good use here. Yeah, he's, he's using his jab right here. He's setting it up, and he's, he's trying to throw the right hand. He went to the body, and if Johnson should just step in right here and throw a shot, there you go, he throw the good body shot. Now he's, he's on the attack, but he's showing more footwork than handwork. Here's round number three. Kevin Johnson unbeaten 16-0, six knockouts on his resume. Dominating the action so far. Came on very strongly in the second half of round number two. Neither fighter's been down. Trying to detect if uh, there is blood uh, flowing from a cut on the face of Jamel Barnes. If there is, the corner doing a good job of concealing that and uh, taking it into account so he could come out for round three. But he appears lethargic, uh, doesn't seem to have much life in his legs, uh, Jamel Barnes. And Kevin Johnson taking clear advantage and clear control of this fight. But Kevin have a great job, and I really like the way he uses jab. Now, I would like to see him sit down and put other stuff on top, on top, behind man. the jab, which would be a good right hand, left hook, and some body shot. And get this guy out of here. Now, you don't want a guy like this hanging around too long because it doesn't look good. And, yeah, he's a superior fighter in the ring, but you need to make a statement. His last fight went the distance. It was a six-round unanimous decision. He won every round on all three scorecards. That came on the 9th of November against Andrew Greeley, not exactly a distinguished name. He did very early on in his career fight a guy that we're familiar with, uh, the brother of the WBO heavyweight champion of the world, or the cousin, rather, of Sultan Ibragimov, Timor Ibragimov, who also made a name for himself in the heavyweight division before he ran into some stinging punches from Calvin Brock in one of those crossroads fights. Well, he's using a fast jab and a strong jab. He's mixed it up nicely. Now, Ooh, he, big he's just not putting, he's not putting the weapons behind that punch. That was a slapping hook. You need to set the shoulder and throw a strong hook. Good body shot. Picking up the pace right now in this flurry, perhaps as if he uh, was all ears for your advice, Glenn Johnson. You could feel that one left hook, a short left hook on the inside in the cheap seats. You'd like to see him capitalize and just finish this man because he's clearly in there with a guy that he should be able to take out. Another good jab. That one rocked Jamel Barnes, stopped him right in his tracks. He got a sweet jab. It's interesting, too, because uh, you mentioned the style with the turned shoulder not squared, as you usually see with a fighter that uh, has a good jab, doesn't keep the hand up high, keeps it around his waist. Look we'll at Floyd Mayweather in there when Floyd's trying to get you. Yeah, but, uh, you know, Johnson not doing the same thing. When Floyd do that, Floyd come back with uppercuts and oh, left hook. And I would like to see Johnson use that jab and, and put the right hand behind it and come back with left hook or body shots. Inside 10 seconds to go, round number three of a uh, scheduled eight-rounder. And we travel with Jermel Barnes into his corner. It's kind of a long journey after the first couple of rounds of this fight. Very little to distinguish him in terms of having a chance to have won any of the first three rounds. And he appears to be tired. You see some blood flowing from inside the mouth and working on some of the swelling around the eyes. Yeah. Hit his shoulders. up good. Hit his shoulders. Show him. Hit him on the eye. Hit him on the eye. Hit him hard. Hit him hard. Hit him hard. Good work with the jab. You see the jab strict, strong jab right here. Good jab. Look at the snap on the neck after that jab. That's what you want to see. But you want to see a right hand right behind that. And close the show. Here's round four of our heavyweight matchup. Kevin Johnson, unblemished record, 16-0. He's well on his way to making it 17-0. Jermel Barnes, 
bit of a journeyman. He's really been in some tough times in his last 10 fights. Hasn't had a win, had a couple of draws. Doesn't appear like he's just in there to take a beating and catch a payday. But he's not offering much resistance, and now he's getting tagged with that left hand almost at will. It's target practice right now for Kevin Johnson. Well, Kevin Johnson is very comfortable. He, 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 he recognized that he's not in any danger, and he's using his job great. I mean, you know, it's, it's no question he have a great job, but we question the rest of the weapons, which will be the right hand, the left hook, the body shot, the ability to sit down on those punches and close the show. As a heavyweight, you need to have that. Doubles up on the jab that time and then throws the right hand. Seen evidence of an excellent one, two. Almost a bullseye on the chin for that jab of Jermel Barnes. Kevin Johnson taking advantage. And again, a commanding lead in this fight and dictating the pace here. Uppercut, right hand lead. Good shot there, just missed. Partially blocked by Jermel Barnes, or it might have been lights out. Johnson taking his time. Midway through this fourth round, it's been all Kevin Johnson so far, as a lot of people would have anticipated. Len, you're looking for a little bit more polish, maybe a little bit more of a finishing touch, huh? Yeah, you know, Johnson is throwing the job, he's stepping back, he's creating room to punch again, but he's not punching again. You know, he's just creating the room and throw the jab and create more room and, and step back and create more room. We like to see him create that room, sit down and, and, and let go of the other punches. And, it, you know, it's no doubt this guy is talented, but is he limited talented or he have all the weapons? That's what, that's what we're still waiting to see. We're still waiting to see the rest of the weapons. He's beating a steady tattoo on the face of Jermel Barnes with that jab. Not an easy thing, though, to uh, try and educate a fighter to have power. You either have it or you don't. Well, you don't have to have the power. You don't have to use the power, but you can still throw the punches. You just have to be smart about it. A lot of times you have a guy at weight, he's coming forward, and you throw the right punches. His body weight help you add weight to your punches. Easy waltz in round number four. The crowd thinking this round's a little bit suspect on the part of Kevin Johnson. Jamal Barnes trying to come back. Ten seconds to go in this fourth frame. Crowd getting a little restless. As we go into the corner of Kevin Johnson. Johnson, dominant force in this fight. More or less toying with Jamal Barnes. Upsetting to you, Glenn Johnson, that he's not uh, putting in more of an effort to uh, make the proverbial statement. You like to see this in young guys, especially if you're going you know, uh, to boast a resume like he has, 16 and 0. Uh, you'd like to see him be able to finish guys off a little bit more quickly. Well, here you're going to see Johnson throwing the job. See, he threw the job right there and he stepped back. He threw it again and he stepped back. He should throw a right hand behind that. There he threw the right hand. But then he go back to throwing the jab, and there's nothing else behind it. And that's where we want to see the change. We still want the jabs, but now we want him to add the rest of the punches to it. Into round five of our heavyweight matchup, Kevin Johnson, Jermel Barnes. It's been all Kevin Johnson so far, having winning the first four rounds. Even Stevie Wonder would have called it that way. You're looking for a little bit more. The crowd got a little anxious uh, about round number four as they feel that Kevin Johnson should assert himself a little bit more affirmatively. Uh, he has an opponent here that he appears to be superior to, but all of a sudden, Jamel Barnes getting brave in the center of the ring. Well, you know, faith will have it. If you have a guy around too long, eventually you're going to start thinking, this guy is not all that he cracked up to be. Maybe I can do something. Rocks Barnes that time with a statement maker. The latitude adjustment. And Barnes shrugs it off, but as we've seen so many times, the fighter that starts making gestures as if he's not hurt usually is hurt. Well, that's often so. And, and, right. and Barnes not really doing anything to, um, to help himself in this fight. He just laying around, very through a punch, but it's a low 
kind of borderline low blow. And you have to throw some jabs and some right hand. Good right hand over the top right there. But you need to do a little bit more of that. Big right hand again. Watch your head. See, he's getting braver and braver as the runs go on. The ref should stop this. Holding and hitting. Sort of embarrassing. The crowd is into it. This Minios kind of let that action go. Seeing some slapping action here. Clowning by Kevin Johnson. Right after Jamel Barnes had finally reached him and gotten his attention. You got to give Barnes credit for trying to do some trench work in here and make this into more of a fight. Well, well Barnes is, is stepping, in, stepping up into the pocket and waiting till he have the big right hand over the top. Kevin keep his left hand low. So if he get close enough, he could land that right hand. Like right there, if he throw that right hand right over the shoulder, you're able to land that right hand. But he's trying to throw a left hook. That's not the punch to throw while you're in the clinch. Because the guy have his right hand up. You want to throw the punch the way he have his left hand down. And you can see a critical mistake made by fighters over and over again as you watch these type of fights where you have a journeyman and a young upstart and a guy that has been impressive all the way through. And they let a guy hang around, as you mentioned, Glenn Johnson, and all of a sudden they find themselves in trouble. Although it looks like Kevin Johnson got the wake-up call and he's starting to answer back. Well, you know, you know what the, what the thing people are going to talk about here is not that Kevin Johnson is not talented. It's how much talented is he? Is Inside he have the ability seconds. to get rid of the guys out of the ring? Round number five coming to a close. Hard to make a case so far in any of the first five rounds for Jermel Bonds. You can get the best attorneys anywhere on the planet. And hard to see him winning any of these first five rounds. I have Kevin Johnson comfortably ahead. 50 to 45. Even all five rounds to Johnson. Barnes giving it an effort, and we see perhaps his best action of the fight here from round five. Well here Burns stepping up, he's coming on, he's clowning a little bit and get in position. Boom, the right hand right there. He, he missed it a little bit. He just needed to step a little bit closer before he threw that punch, and he would have landed more flush. And set here for round number six. A lot of people didn't anticipate this one going this far. He ain't got nothing. Back to work we go. Round number six, Kevin Johnson in command of this fight. Neither fighter's been down. Neither fighter has been cut. Kevin Johnson controlled the pace of this fight early on with the jab. We're seeing that in evidence again as he goes back to it. And it is a pretty jab. It's a weapon he can definitely use and count on to maybe further his career. Almost metronomically uh, beaten a uh, drum underneath the eyes of Jermel Barnes. Barnes had his moments in round number five. Probably not enough to win the round, but at least he made a statement that he's here. Well, Kevin bringing his hand, he, you know, he's carrying that left hand really low. And against Barnes, he's not in any danger, but was he, was he starting to step up and, and, and start fighting against the taller heavyweights, he's going to have trouble. But he got to pick that end up and defend himself because he's going to get right hand over the top. Barnes facing so many disadvantages in this fight. Power, reach. I mean, just a simple way to put it is overall talent. You get that sparring partner or loser's mentality when you lose fight after fight after fight, as he did in that stretch, losing eight out of ten, which is two draws. But bravely fighting on here, trying to take this thing in close. And while he's taking four or five punches to try and wind up and throw one, and see if he can put himself back into this thing. See, he's throwing an overhand right, which you need to get in position and throw a straight right. And you have a better chance of landing that. When a man is leaning over like that, you don't want to throw it over. You want to throw it straight. Let him lean into it more. Good one-two combination that time. The last punch of that flurry was blocked by Barnes, but the first couple got home. And now he's finding a sweet spot on the head of Jermel Barnes, who continues to try and come forward. Pushes Johnson off. Trying to boom against the ropes now. 
Johnson goes back to that sort of embarrassing slapping tactic that he had to get the crowd against him in round number four. Well, you, you don't have short punches, so what happened when the guy get too close, he throws slaps. Instead of throwing short hooks and body shots, he just throws slaps. He just slapped the guy on the side of the head and his ear, stuff like that. But if he throw good, crisp, short punches and turn his shoulder, would get some results. Starting to show some ability to infight is Kevin Johnson. He's been keeping his distance with that jab, but now getting in close and getting the better of it. Ten seconds to go here in round number six. Kevin Johnson coming on, rocking Jamel Barnes. Quality finish to round number six for Kevin Johnson. He started to put together some combinations and do some of the things that you've been advocating throughout this fight, Glenn Johnson, if he's going to be a guy that gets the attention of the fans and gets boxing fans excited about the fact that he's unbeaten. Well, here at the end of the run, starting to get excited here. He's throwing combination. There's some exchanges. Barnes is trying, and he's landing a few punch here and there. And Kevin Johnson... No doubt the, the most talented guy in the ring, but we just would want more out of him. We want the closing kind of action out of him to close the show, and that's going to make the difference between a boring Kevin Johnson and an exciting Kevin Johnson. round number seven ref brings them together center of the ring Kevin Johnson with an onslaught at the tail end of round number six he's won every round on my scorecards I would imagine most of the judges have it the same way Jermel Barnes showing some courage in this fight and every now and then with the occasional flurry but not enough uh, to stop this overwhelming onslaught that we've seen from Kevin Johnson. The jab has uh, come back. It's returned to be his most effective weapon and starting to put things together in combination now. Yeah, this this part of the fight, you know, you have a, a, a slow guy in front of him. You can basically tell every movement he's going to make. You know, but Barnes is not a difficult guy to figure out what his movements are, what he's going to do. So you could definitely put the punches and the combinations together. He's using a great jab. He's stepping around him nicely. He's doing everything that he's supposed to do except putting the combination together and putting a solid right hand behind that wonderful jab that he's using so well. Barnes plodding forward and lands a right hand that time as Kevin Johnson relaxed. Just when you think uh, Barnes is out of it, he comes up with something that changes your mind a little bit. Attention getter with that right hand. It's been too few and far between for Barnes, but he presses forward now and uh, might have caught Kevin Johnson trying to grab a little bit of rest here in round number seven. Good right hand that time, and all of those punches scored against Jermel Barnes. Kevin Johnson with the better footwork. Maneuvers himself well around the ring, and my goodness, just beating out of tune on the face of Jermel Barnes there. That, that was a nice series of three consecutive jabs. It was nice, but one thing was missing. Can you guess what that was? The right hand to follow. Thank you. Seems simple, the one, two. You wonder how a guy can forget about such a simple tactic and fundamental. Now he comes with the right hand. The right hand didn't have much power on it, but you can see Jermel Barnes might have to pull up to the gas pump. He's getting a little tired if he wasn't already. Johnson now against the ropes. He did some effective work there earlier in this fight. Neither fighters hit the canvas yet. Neither fighter cut. Once you hit. Kevin Johnson has been somewhat of a distance fighter so far in his career. And He's headed in that direction right now as we close in on 20 seconds to go in round number seven. Don't push, punch out. Both fighters showing signs of fatigue now, Glenn, as we head towards the eighth and final. Well, Barnes is really asking to get out of here, but he's not putting it together.
Another example of a round where Kevin Johnson controlled the pace, dictated the action, showed us that good jab, and yet failed to be a crowd pleaser. Yeah, well, you know, it's exciting to throw jabs, and, and it's, it's nice, but I think it's just all the people want to see more stuff. They want to see the big right hand and elicit. Mike Tyson was not the most polished fighter, but one thing he had was the big punch. Well, here's some of the good work of Kevin Johnson. He flashed that jab. And now Barnes came back. That was his big right hand that he got in there in round seven. That was probably the only telling blow he threw in that particular round. Well, that's what happened when you get close enough to throw a right hand over that shoulder like I was talking about. Good luck, guys. Last round. Last round. Let's fight. And he touched gloves for the eighth and final. Jamal Barnes would need a knockout to win this fight. As we said, he developed that mentality after a while where you're so accustomed to losing. It becomes problematical uh, unto itself, both from a mental and a physical standpoint. He doesn't appear to have the physical skills to beat this guy. And you know that Kevin Johnson could probably take this round off, uh, just circle around the ring, keep the distance, uh, and have a clear-cut victory. It's interesting. It's hard to criticize, and sometimes you'll hear announcers do this, and fans are also guilty of it. Guy's winning the fight. He's uh, clearly winning every round, and yet we find reasons uh, to criticize the fighter and his performance. Uh, Kevin Johnson has given a nice display tonight, and yet somehow he leaves you feeling like there's something missing and you're looking for more. Well, the reason why you see that happening is because you're looking at where the guy is right now and where you want to see him in the future, and you know what he's doing now is not enough to get to that place. And he seemed content with where we are instead of trying to make reasons or create more for, for you know, to please the audience and to improve himself. And, and that's the reason why you see unsatisfied people around that have an opinion, no they criticize, and they're not happy, they're not satisfied with your performance. And even through it, Glenn Johnson, if you're going to climb the ladder of success in a very difficult sport, and let's face it, boxing is extremely unforgiving, you can't necessarily get by by just toying with guys that are of lesser ability. Now, he's trying to come on here and, to his credit, uh, maybe finish uh, with a little bit of a statement. Jamel Barnes is a guy that's there to be had, uh, you would have to say, as brave as he's been in this performance, to hang in there through the better part of eight rounds. He's somebody that, uh, as you uh, start to climb the ladder of success in the heavyweight division, you're going to be looking at a whole different picture. Minute to go here in the eighth and final. Well, you know, Kevin is definitely the better of the two fighters in the ring. You want to see him separate himself, and you want him to be exciting, so he's somebody you want to see again. Now, you want to see a beautiful job? Kevin Johnson can do that. But if you want the closing on the show, then you're going to have some questions about Kevin Johnson. Crowd giving him the business. <laughs> they can't be disappointed with Jermel Barnes' performance. He did everything he possibly could do in this fight. Just didn't have the skill to compete with Kevin Johnson, who will move to 17-0. But will he move the hearts of the fans that he was trying to impress here tonight? Ten seconds to go in the eighth and final. Third cut win. For Kevin Johnson. Kevin Johnson finishes up in the corner. And Jermel Barnes ends the fight on his feet. Never went down in this fight. No big power shots from Kevin Johnson. Showed us some flashes of brilliance, but not necessarily the stuff that makes you think that he's ready to take that next big step. But we shall see. Well, there's no doubt who won the fight. He, 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 he won the fight with flying colors. But... Is the audience excited? Are they looking forward to seeing Kevin Johnson again? That is a question that left unanswered. We'll get the answer as to who officially won this fight. Well, I would imagine uh, if you polled 100 people in the audience and the first three judges, they'd have Kevin Johnson pitching a shutout. to see some of the skills that are apparent here with Kevin Johnson. He got the shoulder roll. He's been patient right here. You see, got a little bit of elbow. Here he got a good jab. He's using the jab. 
we step around, but he's not putting the right hand on the left hook. That could really do damage. You go right back to the jab, you slip, you step around. Where is the punch? He's, he's gone. He's disappeared out the screen. You don't want to see that. You want to see a guy step around and immediately get in position to throw punches. You have the angle. You've got an open man in front of you. You don't walk away from that. You step up and finish it. It's been an impressive decision fighter. Last couple of fights uh, against Damian Willis. Guy that had uh, an excellent record of 22 1 and 1. It's probably his biggest win. He decisioned him across 10 rounds, similar fashion. Uh, won 9 of the 10 on two judges' scorecards and had them all in the bag on the third judges' card. And then, of course, shut out Andrew Greeley on uh, November or on November 9th. We have the official scorecards. They've been tallied, and here's the dapper Bob Alexander with the results. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino, Hollywood, after eight rounds of boxing, we go to the scorecards. All three judges, Rocky Young, Jed O'Connor, and Peter Trimitera, score the bout 80-72 for the winner by unanimous decision, Kevin Kingpin Johnson.